Yo, what is going on, guys? It's the best prep one And today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Steam skin, Steam layout, whatever you want to call it. And pretty easy, pretty fast. It does take a long time to go through every single thing, but it's not that tough of a process. And we'll get right into it. So, first thing we're going to need is take your Steam shortcut, right click it, go to properties, go into the shortcut tab, and then add dash dev at the end of it. What this is going to allow you to do is run Steam in dev mode. When you press F6, uh, also just to make sure it works, it's going to say console right here. Um, when you press F6 and you click on something, it'll tell you where it's located and how it's laid out in the, I guess, uh, Steam sort of files. And as we can see, if you're maybe something is, you want to change something or it's not working, just press F6, go click on it, and you know it'll start, uh, it'll start working. Like for example, I need, I wanted to change the hyper color, so I just went in, I saw that it said right column and cover. And it was located in the steam.root.gamespace or details.layout. And I just went there and I fixed it. So uh, make sure you guys do that whenever you run into some problems. So the next thing we're going to need is GIMP. And with GIMP, I like to use this. We're going to load it up. I like to use this because, you know, it's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Um, nothing too tricky about it, and everything's straightforward, at least if you know how to do it. So that's GIMP and we'll get into the next one program files 86 and I'll tell you how to make your own steam skin folder right now so you see you go into the steam folder which is in program files 86 you click on skins right click make new folder and just name this one skin or whatever you want to call it now what you need is you need to copy and paste uh, the resources and the graphics copy Oh, whoops, I'm doing this wrong. You have to paste it in here. Paste. Uh, add to, uh, paste. So, in the folder that you made in the Steam skins. It was confusing me because I named this one skins. And so, you just have it set up like that. So, you have re graphics and resources. And that's pretty much it. Now, all you have to do is start editing. So, for graphics, everything's pretty simple. These are pictures, and you can just color them however you want to. And the method I used was let's do this one, for example and so we see this is the border for when your friends are online playing a game and here this is what I like to do I like to do colors and I would actually recommend choosing two main colors uh, red uh, is one of them you could do um, you could do any two colors you want let's say you want to like I don't know some sort of this type of green let's say you want that green and um, that's not a good example because this is already green but all you have to do is just take this, choose it on fill whole section, put it on color, and just click into it. It'll change the tint of it. Uh, pretty much change the color. But let's say you wanted a different color. You know, just choose whatever. Maybe this sort of like goldish looking one. Orange, I guess. I chose orange and green just because. And that's pretty much it for editing graphics. You just go through all of these. <laughs> it's a lot. But um, you're going to get stuck on, let's say, this button right here. What you're going to want to do is edit it in GIMP and the reason why you're able to see that is because it's saved in a dot is saved in a dot PNG file I said that pretty fast um, but the steam doesn't read it steam will ignore the uh, PNGs and it'll only go off the dot TGA files so uh, what you're gonna have to do is you know take your whatever color you want and you're gonna have to change it of course um, doesn't really matter if you're not changing it uh, choose the color and you're gonna hit file over right you're gonna go in and you're like why is it not working you're actually gonna have to export it at CSS PNG you're going to do TGA and go to this bottom right corner and TGA Targa something like that and hit export and you're all good for graphics so just go through all those guys and you know uh, customize it however you want to and we're getting to the meat and potatoes the styles also here's some more graphics that you're gonna have to do uh, for example like Steam logo you know, change that color to whatever you want. File. This one's you can just overwrite just like normal. Overwrite. And even though you press X on it and it says discard changes, don't. It uh, since you already hit override, it pretty much did save it. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything else after that. So we're going to go into styles, and everything is within styles, menus, loadouts, fonts. Really nothing, anything special. But layout, menu, styles. So that's going to be pretty much everything in here is going to be located in at least one of those, mainly in the styles. But like I said, if you need to search something, press F6 and click on it. Um, 
So we're going to go back into it. Let's go into styles just to show you, for example. So you go into the Steam section, and you don't have to start editing till border color right here, and then all the way down like a billion more lines to uh, this little bit right here, DD texture bottom. So that's really all you have to do edit to. Everything else will be um, like this. This will say like use text color scroll glyph. So all of that is taken care of and you're good. And let's go to let's go to do one for example. This was my method, so I like to so I took the text, right? I see the colors two zero seven, two zero seven, two zero zero. And if you don't know how to read these, it's red, green, blue, and that's the alpha, so transparency. Don't mess with that, you don't have to. Um, so we're gonna go into GIMP, we're gonna make a new it doesn't really matter the size because you're not even saving this thing um, but you, I just use this as a placeholder for colors so let's say I wanted this color right um, I would just go uh, or I would just figure out where it is on this I just messed it up but whatever let's do like this color so I would just go in figure out what color I like oh that looks cool maybe I want to just see it on the canvas and then it's uh, normal Bam. And so, uh, yeah, that looks cool. And then, so I just see the color ID right here. Go into your text a little bit here. And all you have to do is just replace these three numbers with those three numbers that you see right here. So, 180 space 81 space 201. And hit file save. And the, actually, the approach I took is I wanted every color, so I realized like all these colors are you know kind of off, but uh, I just want to kind of just change the tone of it to be like an orange instead of a gray or a black. So what I did, let's say I did uh, text hover. So this is 266 all the way across. So 226, press tab twice, 226, and then bam. So I have the color now, and we're going to replace it. So it's like a whitish color. So let's say I just wanted... Um, sort of the same amount of like brightness but just with I don't know what I'm doing um, maybe with like an orange tone so I would choose my pure orange which is like 255 and then 127 and then 0 so that's like pure orange pretty much um, and then I would take this and I would choose either the overlay which is just kinda not good because it's so much brighter um, or you do color but it makes it super white, like since it's so close to 255, it pretty much the color doesn't really change all that much. So for something maybe like, um, let's see, the 75, but button border disable. I have no idea what that corresponds to. Let's do uh, label two, I guess, label two. So it'd be one all the way across, or pretty much one ones. And we go over here, one one, oh, three ones. So this is more of like a grayer one. This one you'll see actually uh, a lot of the difference. So we have choose my orange and then I choose the color. So that's kind of like a darker orange instead of as you can see that one. It's a little darker. So I just wanted uh, just the orange to correspond with kind of the same amount of brightness as uh, the black gave off. So I would see that that color is um, Oh no, I'm not on the right thing. I choose the color picker. Click on this color. I see that it gives me that. And I s now they have the color ID 222210. And I replace that with 222 two, two, space 110. And then I'm good. File save. And let's go check out our Steam skin. So we're going to go to equip your Steam skin. You go to Steam, Interface and change this to whatever your skin was named so my, that one was named skin so we restarted it now that we're here in steam um, we could see that the pink that I chose for the text is you know it's working it's all all of these go correspond to text and maybe these go by disabled but you know these go by the hovers um, let's see uh, is there anything else I change you know um, all this is just a bunch of trial and error to see if whatever you like edited um, actually corresponded to um, 
working in the game so it looks like I was only able to make these purple but you know over time you'll actually see um, oh let's go over here actually um, let's see let's go message and you'll see that this is actually orange because I changed it in the graphics so that's pretty much it guys for the video you're gonna need to do a bunch of just trial and error stuff you know go in and oh this is messed up because it is actually let's do this so that should be zero and like I said red blue, red green blue and then the alpha transparency don't mess with that and you are gonna need four colors uh, four numbers otherwise it won't work like this here so we're gonna hit file save oh no nope. file save and then we're gonna go exit steam open up steam again and it'll be in so now that we're in steam we can see that this is label 2 so that's the orange that I chose um, I think there's an orange down here got all these things are in the way I'm so dumb how it loads everything so we can see that it's a 27 friends online you know um, that's pretty much it guys um, you know take your time you have to make sure you don't mess up because if you forget a number you know, it's gonna take forever to look through all of these which one doesn't have a number and that's pretty much it for the video guys um, see you in the good one